Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm back with another Ankh Guardian because they seem to be very popular with you guys, so I've decided to continue painting them and putting videos up on the channel. This one is Benu, and he is primed in Army Painter's White. We're going to be starting off with those beautiful flames coming out of that rock, and we're going to start off with some Griff Hound Orange. And what we're going to do is you're going to notice I'm going to leave some spots white because I'm going to do some other parts of the flame with a different color just to give it that realistic flame look. Alright, so the next contrast color we'll be using is Ayendin Yellow. And as you can see, this one now, it does have yellow, but as you, if you put it really thick in certain areas, it does have orange. So it actually does mix into that Griffhound orange perfectly, and it gives like little orange sparks kind of thing coming out of the flame. Alright, the next contrast paint we're going to be using is Blood Angels Red, and this is just for a little part underneath his neck, and just a little part under the uh, belly of this wonderful creature. Moving on to the next contrast color is Apothecary White, and this is going to be for the top part of the wings, uh, the neck, and the beak. Uh, because we're going to come back later on and fix that a little bit more, but I uh, just wanted a little of a color to give to it. So as you can see, Apothecary White isn't really white, but it gives white a nice contrast. So this is perfect for this. It gives like a little grayish hue to it, and it makes a good way to actually um, highlight white, because it is hard to get white highlighted. <laughs> Anyways, then we're going to move on to some Arkelian Green contrast, and this is going to be for those beautiful wings, or the bottom part of those beautiful wings, and the tail part, as well as the back of Bennu. Now we're going to use some Ultramarines Blue, and this is going to be for the under part of the tail, just to make it a little bit darker. It's also going to be for the top part of his head, but as you can see, I put a little too much, and it makes it really dark. So I just take another dry brush and uh, just remove some of that uh, contrast. I was trying to rub it off with the actual brush itself, but it was just making it pool too much. Uh, so you see, I just soaked some up a bit here, and it was a little too light, but it's okay. It blends into the next color, which is Space Wool's Gray. And uh, this is another contrast paint from Citadel. I'm doing the, uh, whatever you want to call these, the antennas or whatever on the top of the bird. I'm also doing the legs because this is what it showed in the art where it had like this uh, grayish blue tint to the legs. And now just some dark oat flesh for Bennu's feet, plain and simple. Uh, I found it. The feet, though, were actually kind of badly done. I found that they the weren't as detailed as the rest of the bird, which is kind of weird. Anyways, then we're doing the under part of the wings, and this is Volopus Pink, uh, because in the artwork he had underneath the wings was this beautiful pinkish purple color. Uh, so I decided to do this, and it blends into the white as well on the top and into that blue a little bit. Uh, and then where you can see where the red blends in nicely as well with this pink. A little dry brushing of Eldar flesh on the beak just to give it a little brownish color and a little dry brushing of Kronos blue on the tips of the wings as well as on where I put that apothecary white because it did have a blue like tint a little bit to them but I didn't want it to be blue. Uh, now we're doing the base which we're going to start with the rock some Basilicanum gray and then I forgot I noticed I forgot to do his eyes so I come back with a little bit of moon dust and just dab a little bit of that yellow in its eyes just to make the eyes pop a little bit more. And then we're using this new texture I bought, which is from AK Interactive. And this is Desert Sands. And when it dries, wow, does it ever look like the Desert Sands. It really comes out really nice. And I didn't even put a wash on it after. Uh, just let it dry like this, uh, painted around with a base black. And there you have it. Benu is all painted, ready for the table. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed these Ankh Guardians. Hit that like button and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you all in the next one.